How do you usually prepare for the concert? Do you have some rituals? Um, I usually, um, about one hour or one and a half before showtime, I, um, I just go backstage and just be for myself, warm up a little bit. And um, sometimes I just I do my hair or something to um, yeah. It's not actually a preparation for the concert. It's more like a a habit that uh, just keeps me doing something and not waiting around like you usually have to do. Um, yeah. So it's pr basically the warm up, I'd say. Where are you now on your musical path? What's happening with the band? Um, um, we are working on our next album, um, which of course every new album is something like a next step. So, um, and mostly on a musical path, you're actually you're always chasing the next step so that's pretty much what is, uh, where we're at right now. Next album, um, play more shows, play shows. How did the pandemic affect you and your music? Well it didn't affect the music, um, it affected more the, the side of the job that is live playing playing live shows and touring but um, also gave us a lot of time to um, write songs and work on work on our music work on different music as well we we work with we have a huge uh, how you say scene in our hometown and we're friends with a lot of people that make music and we all make music together that's why um, that gave us a lot of time to make a lot of music but of course uh, um, the whole side with the, with the concerts and the live playing is, is a huge huge part uh, which just is just fell off and it's not, um, yeah, it's just gone, and everyone missed it like crazy. Um, and we're glad we're back. We're kind of back. Respect und Neugier Festival is about diversity, curiosity, and respecting those differences. How much do you identify with that? How do you interpret it in your music? Um, well me as sort of a POC identify with that um, I also uh, um, I, the, the area I live in in Düsseldorf is also sort of a uh, community and um, it's uh, yeah um, and in our music well, there's loads of songs that um, are about our society and um, what we're, what the society lacks and what is missing. That's why that's that's a very important thing in our music as well. And we're happy to be here in that to get to know about the place. Because, um, yeah, it seems like it's, I think it's important that city has places like this for kids and the youth um, that they get in contact with, with good people. And, yeah, good people with good thoughts, good vibes. Why did you become a musician? Can you remember that kid now when you look in the mirror? Yeah, um... Why um, uh, my parents are both musicians. My dad's an opera singer, and my mum was a pianist. 
um, but it still took me till I was like 18 to figure out that I had a sort of talent and I could pick up things quickly that um, uh, like notes and melodies and especially the guitar um, and I think because I figured out that's what that's what comes I well I enjoy it it's easy for me um, I was not I was not too I didn't suck at it I don't know um, and yeah, that kind of kept me going somehow. Yeah, and probably my parents that um, kind of gave me a sort of gift considering my ears or something. Um, and I think it was kind of made kind of sense to me to continue that path or make something out of the thing you're good at and you enjoy.